Mr. Medellin here again. Sometimes you got with Mr. M. We're gonna be covering inverse square law, and then we're gonna kick it up a notch, and we're gonna go ahead and ask about the exposure for like seven or five minutes and how to calculate that, okay? So, inverse square law, one of my favorites, and one of the fundamentals of being a rad tech is understanding the inverse square law, correct? <laughs> so the term inverse means the opposite, correct? So before I go into the form itself, I, I wanna make sure that I, I, I put this on the board. If you increase your distance, if you increase your distance, your intensity of the energy, the charge is gonna go down, all right? So they're inversely related, all right? Now, if you were to go ahead and double your distance, all right, so we just said increase the distance. If you were to double the distance, we know the intensity is gonna be reduced, but it's gonna be reduced by four, correct? So it's gonna be one fourth of the intensity. So you would divide by four, okay? So I'll put that here, divide by four. Now, the opposite is true. If you were to go down in distance, what's gonna to happen to the intensity of energy? It's gonna go up, right? Because they're inversely related, right? So intensity is gonna go up. One of the examples that we use is the flashlight. If I were to have a flashlight and I brought it closer to the, to the board, the field is gonna get smaller, but the intensity of light is gonna increase. As I bring the distance away from the, from the board with the flashlight, your intensity is gonna go down, but the field increases, correct? So, if you cut the distance in half, then, guess what? It's gonna go up. So it's gonna be times four the intensity. All right. So, this here is the fundamentals of understanding the inverse square law before we even go to the formula. So the formula is gonna be I1 for original intensity over I2 equals D2 squared over D1 squared. So they're inversely related, correct? So this is one way to construct the formula. I know there's several different ways to do the formula. I had a high school math teacher one time as my student. He came up with six variations of the inverse square. I think I shared that with you guys, right? And we only focus on maybe two. The other one is I1 times D1 squared over D2 squared, all right? So you're still cross multiplying. You're still dividing, right? So let's go ahead and figure out exactly when do we use the inverse square law. That's the biggest thing. When do I use the inverse square law? When do I use the direct square law? So there are key terms that are gonna be involved here. So whenever you have a change of distance and there's a change of intensity, all right? So if there's a change of distance and a change of intensity, or they're asking for the dose rate, the new dose rate or exposure rate, okay? So these are your terms. If there's a change of distance and there's a change of intensity, a change in dose rate or exposure rate, or we see this, maybe that's kind of a giveaway, right? Is milligray, because the milligray is the absorbed dose that's happening in the air, right? That's traveling, right? So intensity, a change of distance. Exposure rate, a change of distance. Dose rate, a change of distance or there's a, a new milligrade with a change of distance. That's the inverse square law. So let's make up a, let's make up a question here, you guys. And this is all by the fly. I don't, I don't have any of these numbers written out, so I don't know what it's gonna look like. So if an X-ray exposure is recorded, is recorded, and I'm gonna make up numbers, you guys. It might sound obscene, 100 milligrade. <laughs> at 36 inches SID okay and I'm gonna I'm gonna change it up here a second here. let's do this 100 milligrade per hour okay. so at a distance of 36 inches SID what would the new intensity be at 72 inches SA. So if an exposure is recorded at 100 milligrams per hour at a distance of 36 inches, 
what would the new exposure rate be or the new intensity be at 72 inches? So do you see the key terms here that are gonna direct us to the inverse square law? All right, we got milligray, we got a change of distance from 36 to 72, and we have intensity, new intensity, right? So what I would do is I would write the formula out, I1 over I2 over Z2 squared over D1 squared. And I told you guys, I used to have a, a class for physicians to get their supervisor and operator license. And I would tell them the same thing that I tell any RAT student, write out the formula and then go ahead and read the question and then identify the factors you're gonna need. So I, I'm asking you to do the same. So I'm gonna go ahead, we'll use green, all right, just like green. So 100 milligrade, that's gonna be I1. A distance of 36 inches is gonna be D1 squared. 72 inches is D2 squared. So now we're going to plug in these numbers and see what we have. We have I1, that's 100 milligram. We don't have the new intensity, that's what we're going to have to solve for. And then we have the new distance squared. So be careful because people flip it and they'll purposely put the wrong answer on the multiple choice because you think, oh, I got this one, right? I'm like, why did I get this wrong, right? Because you inverted the distances, right? So. D2 squared is 72 squared, <laughs> and then we got 36 squared, that's D1, correct? So we'll put that here, 36 squared. So, 72 times 72, if you guys multiply, 72 times 72 well, should be 5184, I believe, right? Sorry. 72 times, I kind of memorized the numbers already, but I want you to do it with me. 5184. And then we got 36 times 36 should be 1296, right? So 36 times 36. And in that doctor's course, you guys, I would act like I'm multiplying, but I already memorized the numbers. I'm like, man, this guy's, you know, he knows he's mad, right? So now we're gonna cross multiply. We got 5184X. And now we got 1296 times 100. So we're gonna add two zeros. So we got 129,600, correct? But well, now we have to get rid of, you know, this number here. So we're going to do 129,600 divided by 5184. Okay. So if you divide 129,600 divided by 5184, you should get what? 25. Okay. So 129,600 divided by 5184. And I know it's 25 for a reason. And some of you guys know how I got there. All right, I'm not that smart, right? So, it's 25 milligrade per hour, okay? So how did we get there so fast without having to do all this? Well, in the previous slide, I said, let's see, what were we doing? Come on, 3672. So 3672, we said that if you go down in distance, right? No, we went up in distance, right? We doubled the distance from 36 to 72, then the intensity of the exposure rate is gonna be one fourth of the original intensity, right? So all I had to do was divide it by four. That's the rule of thumb, okay? So I purposely picked those numbers right now, right? Okay, we're all super smart, right? So 100 milligrade divided by four is 25. Okay, so we're gonna kick it up a notch, right? I used to like watching Emma, we're gonna spice it up a notch, right? Kick it up a notch, right? So, <laughs> what if they say now, uh, let's see, let's see, let's see. So, we got 25 milligram, remember that number? Okay, just like what All right, so, we got here, go back to black, for, let's say, five minutes of floral, or five minutes of floral. Okay, which is fluoroscopy, right? So it's at five minutes now, it's not for the hour. So remember you guys, we got 25 milligrade, correct? So now we gotta figure out how much it is for five minutes. Don't make it over complicated, all right? They make this stuff sound like it's over complicated, it's not. So five minutes out of an hour is what we gotta figure out. So if we have five, how many, 
How many seconds are in, in, I'm sorry, how many minutes are in an hour? Well, it works the same, still 60, right? All right, so 60 minutes in an hour. So if you take five, divided by 60, you're gonna end up with 0 0.0833333, right? So we got 0 0.083, and it goes on and on and on and on, right? <coughs> so we have this number, this is the time frame. So you take, you take your time and you multiply it by what you got on the inverse square law, which was 25. So you, you take your time and you multiply it by your dose rate and you're gonna get your new intensity or dose rate. So you take 0 0.083 and the dose rate we had that we calculated was 25 milligrade, correct? So times 25, we end up with 2.08. So our new dose rate is, is 2.08 for what? For five minutes of floral. Because the other one was per hour. So that's all you do, is you take that time, divided by 60, and that's gonna give you this whatever number, and you multiply it by your dose rate that you had originally calculated. So you have an extra step but it's easily obtainable. You take whatever time that you have, divide it by 60, you multiply it by that dose rate you got, and you'll get your answer, okay? All right, and that's the inverse square law. Okay, thank you.